I'm Bob Whittington. I'm a recently retired chairman of Stride Tregowan. Well, the advice I'd give to architects who want to work uh, in Abu Dhabi for the first time is, first of all, go and have a look at it. Um, the days of people being able to just get off a plane and pick up a few commissions have long since passed. Uh, you've got to study the market. You've got to look for um, a particular unique selling point. You can find a niche if you like. Um, and you've really got to be make sure that you've got people on the ground really permanently. So uh, it's a point that's been made to us on several occasions that um, you're not really going to get any work unless you've got a permanent presence there. Uh, the cost of setting up an office is quite considerable. Um, having said that, I don't know if you've heard the joke about an architect who won the lottery and said that uh, they asked him what he was going to do and he said, I'm going to keep going until the money runs out. Uh, so that's not new to architects, uh, running an office and not making money out of it. Um, but we do obviously, we are a commercial organisation, we hope to recoup uh, our investment eventually. But um, as with any business, I think you have to, before you go in there, make sure that you know you're going to be in there for the long term that you can afford to be there because you really are going to make profits for not just months but years um, and you need to be prepared to stick with that. There, there are obviously considerable cultural differences if you go to any country in the world but taking my experience in Abu Dhabi in particular, um, there are obviously uh, quite strict um, Islamic laws, for instance if you've got male and female staff they can't occupy the same accommodation. That, that doesn't mean that a male and a female can't occupy the same bedroom, it means that they can't occupy the same house. So you have to have male houses and female houses, uh, unless of course they're married, in which case it's okay. Um, there are, Abu Dhabi is actually quite uh, a Western-facing country, so they are tolerant of uh, most of our ways. So for example, females don't have to wear veils and headdresses and what have you, but they would look rather strangely at somebody wearing a very skimpy bikini on the beach. Um, so you just have to be mindful of, of, of sensitivities like that. Uh, and equally things like alcohol are tolerated, but you, if you fell asleep in the back of a taxi or something, you might be taken round to the local police station, put into a prison for the night, and maybe deported the next day. So uh, you have to be careful. I, I think uh, people forget, particularly in this country where um, we're very uh, conscious of human rights, so you get sort of terrorists who can't be deported because they have rights and what have you. In a lot of foreign countries, and the Middle East is amongst them, if they don't like you, they'll chuck you out on the next plane. Well, the final tip is that actually British architects are still hugely respected. Um, we have a, a massive reputation, not only for architecture, but for creative arts in general. Think about all the filmmakers and literature um, people and the, the plays and things that we write. And, and so people actually want to buy our services. It's not easy finding people who want to buy them, but there is a huge amount of respect out there. And the opportunity is fantastic. There is just, uh, we've just got a commission for a 34-storey apartment building. I don't think there are any 34-storey apartment buildings that I would get in Bristol, which is where my office is. So uh, there's just great opportunities.